So number six then from the 2018 SQA Advanced Higher Mathematics of Mechanics. Little four mark question here, volume of revolution. What's the volume of revolution produced? If you rotate this shaded area, and well not shaded it, which is a portion of a circle, if it's rotated 360 around the x-axis. Well, it's a straightforward enough little question, as long as you make sure you use the correct variables in the correct places. If it's being rotated about the x-axis, then its section is going to generate circles about the x-axis. If you take a slice through it, if I take a thin section here, well, the end of that is going to be a circle, but if I just take a section through it, then that section through it will be a circle. That's looked edge on. But I'm taking a thin slice, so it's going to be like a coin, a thin cylinder. So the volume of the whole shape, if it's sliced into lots of these, will be the sum of the volumes of these little slices. And that slice is a cylinder. So its volume will be pi r squared h. The radius of that cylinder will be the y coordinate for any given value of x. And the thickness of that cylinder just depends on how many slices you put it into. And in the case of integration, you make the slices infinitesimally small. So that will be a dx, a very small difference in the x coordinates. So really it's just a case of how would you get the volume of the whole thing? You add up the volume of these little slices, starting from here and working your way through to the end. And each slice has got a volume of pi times r squared. Now the radius will be y. So that's y squared and its thickness is dx. And then you add them all up because that's what that stands for. That's an elongated s for a summation. And you add them all up starting from the first one, which is at x equals negative 2, and the last one, which is at x equals 3. Now, writing that down gets the first mark. Now, it's just a case of putting in the figures. So, what have you got? You've got integral from negative 2 to 3 of, now I need y squared. And luckily, this has got y squared in it straight away. So, y squared will be 9 minus x squared, Doing that, I'm just throwing the marks out you here. Doing that gives you a mark. That's a trivial little integration to do. So that's just a case of the constant term will go back up to a linear term. Power 2, so that's going to be one third of x cubed. And you evaluate it twice. Doing that gets you a mark. The final mark's just for putting it all together. So what have we got? It's going to be 9 times 3 minus a third of 3 cubed minus 9 times negative 2 minus a third of negative 2 cubed. There's only one mark for all this calculation, but then you could just put that all into your calculator. So that's a 27, that's just a 3 squared that's left, that's a 9. That's going to be a, a plus now, but that's an 18. And this is the only one that's going to have a fraction in it. There's three negatives because that cube stays negative. So it's overall it's negative, and that's going to be 8 upon 3. Now it's just a case of tidying this lot up. So it's 27, 9, 36. But if I want to make it into threes, that's 108. So it's 100. There's 100 thirds left. It's 100 pi upon 3 units cubed for the final answer. And it doesn't seem to actually to put the units cubed down just on that for completeness.